Today I'm going to show you an example of how to determine uh, your staking values or to stake a curve. So you'll see now, um, this is just a rough explanation. I'm going to show you just by doing an example that you could follow these steps when uh, you have to calculate a um, the, the changes of a road on a curve. All right, so the first thing is we have, let's quickly go back. This is our, ex our exercise. So we are given three coordinates, A, B, and C. These are consecutive intersections on a road and, and straight sections are connected with a circular curve at B. The road curves to the right, the change distance at the beginning curve equals 4,889.542 meters. All right, so this is our change at the beginning of curve. So uh, these are all the steps we have to take. I'm just going to show you these steps through the example. All right, so we start with our coordinates. We plot them out. So these are the y and x coordinates. So you've got a, b, and c. Now the road curves to the right. Um, did it say this? Yes, it did. The road curves to the right. So that means that basically it curves, I'm going to say, in a clockwise direction. So from C to B to A. That's how it curves to the right. Now what we can do is we can determine these distances and directions using our coordinates. So we use joins, CB. So we start with the first length, the arm length. So CB, if we use those coordinates, we get a distance of 4,949 meters and a, dis a direction of 158 degrees. B to A, we can determine 220 degrees, that's the direction from B to A, and the distance is 2,300 meters. All right, then we test them back. So make sure you test them back um, to check if you get very similar coordinates to what you used. Uh, then our deflection angle is uh, 62 degrees. Now how did we get this? We said BA uh, and BC, a uh, CB. The difference between these two, okay, that's just 62 degrees. Um, so that's the angle, um, the deflection angle that we're going to use in the rest of the calculations. Now we know that C to B is 4,949 meters. But our chain each was given to us as 4,889. So the best way I can show this is if I mark out this point here, and we have a curve here, and the end of curves there. So this is our beginning of curve, and this is our end of curve. Then we know that this is 4,889. So this length, the TL, so from BC to B, will be our distance calculated minus the change, and we'll get that, which is 60. All right, so now we have a formula. To work out your formula, it is TL, which is your tangent line, equals to your radius tan deflection angle divided by 2. If we rearrange this, we can work out our radius by putting our, in our 60 uh, and our deflection angle of 62, and we'll get a radius of 100 meters. So this means that this circle, the curve's radius, is 100 meters. Then for our length of curve, we have this formula. So radius um, deflection times pi over 180, so change in radians, that's our length of curve. So it's from this point to this point, the length of this curve. Then we have chain each BC, which was given. To determine chain each EC, so let's say BC and EC, that's E, that's B. To determine um, Basically, this change, we can say the change over here, plus the length of the curve, I think it shows better here, gives us our EC. So from there, because this is actually our road, this over here, this is just extended lines. So if the change 
will obviously go continue down this road at BC, go around the curve, which are the values we're staking, and then at the end we have EC. So this plus the length of curve gives us EC. All right, then we need to determine our length of road. So this will be chainage EC plus the distance of BA, this over here, minus TL. So it's more the length of this section. So it's this whole section minus the chainage, um, the plus the chainage minus the uh, tangent length. And that gives us a length of 7,310 meters. Okay. Now we have our first subcord. So basically our first point, if we go back here, BC, the first point on our curve is 4,889. The EC is 4,997. But we are doing changes of 20 meters as requested from the question. So this means that we have to calculate our first chord, which is basically the next chainage, so the next 20 meters, which in this case will be 4,900 minus our chainage. It will basically give us this little section over here. So why we do that is because <coughs> our 120 mark, let's see, our 4,880 4, meters chainage will be over there. So the next one will be yeah, but BC is in between that. So we need to determine how big is this little section over here, which is the first chord. Okay, so that's 10 meters because it's not a full 20 meters. The last chord is the same scenario where we have changes of 20 and then the next chain let's say the last change of 20 will be there and the next one will be there EC is in the middle so in this case it will be change of EC minus the previous one so change of EC minus this one to get this little section over here so basically now we have this section and we have this section, the first chord and the last chord. All the chords in the middle we know are 20 meter sections. So that's quite easy. So we know all the middle chords are 20 meter sections. Um, so for our first chord, we determine the angle using this formula. So it's basically, okay, so that's the first angle. The second angle will be for 20 chords, the third angle will be for the last chord. We use the same formula. All we do is we put in our length. All right. Now, chain each. Let me redraw this quickly. So this is BC. The 4,900 was, sorry, is there. 4,900 is over there on our curve. It's more of a straight line, but you know what I'm, you, that's the concept. End of curve, well, is over there. So between this, we need to determine the directions from BC. So we're basically standing at C, looking at each of these points. So now we know 4,900 is the first one, and 4,980 is the last one. All right. Oh, and then our end of curve, sorry, it's the last one. Now we know for the first one, we determined the angle to be two degrees, 59 minutes and 46 seconds. So that is from BC to those points, to that first point. Okay, so we know our direction from BC. We've calculated that using the join. Then we need to add that angle to get the first point, which is 4,900. Then for each of the next points, it's 20 meter chords. So, uh, yeah, so we have to add the same chord or angle each time to basically 
if you basically if this was BC then you're basically doing all of these angles to each of the next chords all right so each of those next chords so first angle is this angle over here all these angles are the 20 meter chords so we know they're the same angle each time which is 5 degrees and 43 minutes and 46 seconds then for the last one we know the angle is slightly different so then we add that to get our EC okay I hope that makes sense and then from there we add up all our deflection angles and all and we say our last direction minus our first one and we get that check as well then if our um, deflection angle is also the same then we are uh, if you divide by 2 then we know we've done our calculations correctly so this is basically staking out the different angles for your different points on your curve hence staking curve